Hi, I'm Mark at League Athletics. Thanks for watching the League Athletics video tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to assign coaches to teams and give them access rights. Now, there's two places that we'll need to set up their access rights. The first one is going to be in the configuration section and going to security and passwords. Now on this page we want to navigate to the global team manager section and we'll see all of these different options with checkboxes. Here we can select what all of our managers will be able to do. Next we need to go to the divisions and teams page to set individual access rights for each team. To do this we'll go to the team section and click on divisions and teams. Now we'll choose our appropriate season. and then we can select one of our teams to set access rights for the managers or coaches. So within the team settings there's a couple different things that we can do. We'll go to the security section, make sure that we have a manager's password specified. Now this won't be used by the manager but this tells the system that we're allowing managers to log in and have access rights to their teams. On the scheduling tab we want to choose these options down below. If we want managers to schedule new games, edit existing games, add and edit practices only, or add new game types. Now, if add and edit practices only is checked, this overrides everything else, regardless of whether schedule new games is checked as well. So if that's checked and you only want managers or coaches to schedule practices, uh, that's okay. This one will override everything else. We can also check the statistics area, where we can allow team managers to view statistics or uh, not record them at all. Now, if we wanted uh, team managers to record statistics, we would just select Allow Managers Only here. Once we've got all our settings uh, set up, we'll just click Submit to Save. Now, this is going to take us back to the Divisions and Teams page, and we can uh, notice uh, the different options that we have selected for each team here. Now, these correspond to the columns at the top. The PB column stands for Public. That means that this team is actually visible for someone to search and find them by coming to your website. The LV column means that their schedule is live. Uh, that is, if a coach or manager or administrator makes a change to a team's uh, schedule, everyone on that team will receive a notification instantly. Uh, the PR option means that their rosters are public, uh, which means that we're showing names, positions, and jersey numbers to the public and no contact information. Uh, the MG uh, option means that we're showing managers on the team's page. Uh, that's their public-facing page. And then the SC column means that uh, managers can schedule. If you see a checkbox, that means they can pretty much do anything. Schedule new games, schedule new practices, uh, edit existing events. Uh, but if you see a P, that means they're only eligible to uh, schedule or edit uh, practice type events. And then finally, the RSVP option. Uh, if you want to allow the team members to respond to uh, event notices that go out, uh, whether they can be there or not be there, uh, we'll want to make sure that we have this checked here. And then there's also a publish column. If you don't want to show anybody your um, schedules, we're going to put a publish date in here, and that means anything beyond that date will not be shown to the public. And then finally, we have our roster numbers uh, on the right. Okay, so once we've got all of our uh, manager uh, rights set up, we can start assigning managers to teams. And the best way to do this is to really go to the admin section, uh, go to members, and then select look up members. And what we're going to do is try to find somebody in our database that is a parent or an adult that we're going to assign to a team as a coach or a manager. And so if we take a look at myself here, And we'll notice that the, uh, the parents uh, have the asterisk next to their name. So I'll click on test here. And then we'll find my member record. And then to assign myself to the team or to assign a coach to a team as a manager, uh, we're going to go all the way over to the right and click on the teams box or the teams tab. Then we're going to find the appropriate season where we want to assign them. And then we're going to assign them to a team. So we're going to assign this person to, uh, let's say, that Falston team that we are working in. And we want to make them a coach, assistant coach, or manager. Uh, let's just say we're going to make them a coach. And once we've assigned them as a coach, we can click Submit. Now what this does is, obviously it assigns this person to that team as a coach. 
uh, but it also does something else. This person will now be able to log into the site in the login section in the top right corner of the site uh, using only their email address and their personal password. So now they don't need to remember multiple passwords to log into the site. When they log in using that password, uh, they'll now have edit rights to their team only. Uh, they can then navigate to the admin section of the site and schedule new games or new practices or send out email and text message communications to their team only. Uh, we can see that we've made this association by going to that team and we'll see this person uh, as a key contact for, uh, for this team here. Here's their name. Alternatively, if we want to remove somebody as a contact of a team, we'll just go to the member lookup again. We'll find this person and we'll just uh, set their position uh, and team assignment to not assigned. So here's that assignment that I had made. I'm going to select not assigned. I'm going to set their position to NA. And then I'm going to, going to submit that and that will remove them uh, from the team. If you also look at our help documentation for positions, you'll see that there are a list of positions here that are automatically assigned to a team as a key contact. Now any position, a uh, new position that you add to the website that includes one of these terms will automatically add those individuals uh, to the team as a contact. Now if uh, one of these words is not included in the position that you're adding, uh, simply precede that position with a tilde symbol and that will add that person to a team uh, as a contact. I'm Mark at League Athletics. Thanks for watching How to Assign Coaches and Managers to Teams.